Hey, Objectivity, Michael here from Vsauce. Brady is taking some time off. He told me to say that, but I mean, if you look closely, you can see his reflection. He's filming right there. No, I am I so confused. <laughs> I am so confused about what to say, but I'm really excited to be here with Keith and to be looking at some awesome objects for Objectivity. Keith, what is this? Uh, this is the most famous scientific experiment ever made in the 18th century. So uh, take a look, you will recognize it. Ben Franklin, so is this, is mm. this the kite thing? It is, this is the Philadelphia experiment. So here he is writing from Philadelphia in 1752 to his great friend, the naturalist Peter Collinson. I, I've heard conflicting stories about the kite and the key, that it, it, it happened, that it didn't happen, that it didn't happen the way we're told. What's the truth? Uh, well, it's certainly a very dangerous thing. Never, never try this at home. However, uh, here's Franklin's account of performing the experiment written to Collinson. Collinson presents this to the Royal Society for publication in the Philosophical Transactions. And, you know, it's really rather convincing, I think. So, first of all, he tells you how to make your kite. And it's interesting because it's it's a silk kite, it's not made of paper. Ah, so it won't get wet and ruined in a storm. Exactly right. So it's made of strips of cedar, he says, and it has a, a projecting metal part on the top of it, and this mm. is to capture your lightning. I see the word kite, I see key. Indeed. And so. uh, thunder gust, thunder yeah. gust. Yes and it's telling us not to just run out into the middle of a, a field. That's exactly right. So uh, Franklin says he conducts this experiment indoors. So he's uh, within a door frame or a window. And you can see he's just saying here that lightning storms are frequent in this country. And the person who has the string must stand within a door or a window or under some cover. So he's not running around in a lightning storm. It, it did happen and people were killed doing this. Really? So, yes, indeed. However, um, if we read on a little bit, we can see from Franklin's account that something rather different is happening. What Franklin does here is describe some of the electrical effects he sees uh, while this experiment is underway. So uh, you can see here the pointed wire, this is the wire on top of the kite, will draw the electric fire from them. And the kite uh, with all the twine will be electrified and the filaments of this will hand out anyway and be attracted by an approaching finger. So he's describing, as you, you bring your finger closer to, to the kite, uh, he's, he's describing lightning effects. So, so little um, electrical streams coming close to Like when fingers. you shuffle across a carpet and touch metal, Indeed. you get a little spark. That, that's right, yes. When the rain has wet the kite and the twine so it can conduct the electrical fire freely, uh, you will find it stream out plentifully from the key on the approach of your knuckle. So he's, he's raising his knuckle to the key right. and he's finding that, that fire streaming there and probably his, his hairs on his knuckle standing up on end as well. So that's how they found that lightning was electricity, the same as what a Linden jar produced or a battery. Th that's right. They, they recognize these electrical effects from scientific equipment in their laboratories, and therefore they, they made the connection that these were electrical phenomena that, that they were witnessing in nature. So what did they think lightning was made out of before these experiments showed that it was the same phenomenon? Of it. They, they didn't really know. Didn't know. And, and th this is the great thing about science. Here's a practical experiment that allows you to determine something about the nature yeah. of that. I think the conclusion's right here, because I, I don't know what yeah. this word is, but it's something of the electric matter. So the sameness <clears throat> of the electric matter with that of lightning completely demonstrated. Wow. These findings are electrifying at the time, at least. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs>